Okay, so we've got all of our tables created, our author's table, our article's table, our role's review table. Now it's time to set the relationships between the tables. And so to do this, we have our tables all closed down, as you see here, and then go over here to Database Tools. Click on Database Tools, and up pops this uh, icon here for Relationships. Click on Relationships. Now you'll notice that there's nothing in the relationships, so what you need to do is you need to uh, show tables. You can either click on this to show tables, this will do, and then you say, well, which tables do I want to show? Well, I want to show uh, articles. I want to show authors. I want to show roles review. And then close. Now we've got our tables. I'm just going to move this one down to here, like so, just so we can easily see it. Uh, I'm going to come up here to uh, table articles. And in articles, you see there's the primary key. I've highlighted it. I'm going to click it. I'm going to drag it. I bring it down here. And I am going to attach it to article ID here. This is how we set our primary to foreign key. And uh, here we have article ID in table articles to article ID in table roles reviews. And I'm going to do what's called enforcing referential uh, integrity. And I'm going to cascade this on update and delete. This means if I make any changes to uh, an article under a particular ID, it will cascade through all of the uh, all of the other tables where article ID might be present. And in this case, it's a simple database; it's just present here. But if it were more complex, then it would uh, it would cascade to all of the places that article ID is present. And one last thing to note here: the relationship type is one to many. And I'm going to click create. Now I'll just move that a bit so we can see it more easily. Notice I've got the one to many indicated here. So one to many, that's as you should see it. If you don't see that, you can click on this, and you can right mouse and you can sorry, right mouse and you can delete it. And I'll say, are you sure? Yep. And then you can set it again. Article there, article ID there. There, article ID there. Check that, and you can come in here to look at the join type, and it should be only include rows where the joined fields from both tables are equal. That means only include rows where article ID in table articles is the same as article ID in table roles review. And let's say create. Now, we'll just go in, we'll quickly do authors. I'm just clicking on author ID and table authors, and I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to attach it to author ID there. And again, note, author ID, table authors, author ID in a roles review. I'm going to enforce the referential integrity and cascade that. Check that it's one to many. Say create. Spread this so I can see it. And I'm now going to right mouse click on relationships and save it and close. And now our relationships are set, and we're done.